Now we're recording. Are we in focus? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. Like time's a charm. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm Kenna. I'm Susan. This is Susan. You know that because it's on her page. No, and not. we are starting a new Facebook Live series that is all about quotes and conversations. So for starters, tell us where you are tuning in from because this isn't a conversation just between the two of us. We invite all of you to the conversation. So, what is our quote today? And while you're reading the quote, I'm going to go share this on my okay. Facebook page, too. Well, just for starters, I, I just yeah. want to say, like, Ken and I have been posting quotes for years on our social media. A lot of people post quotes. And then the thing, the cool thing about us is that we have each other, so then, then we can sit and talk about it. Um, like, do a deep dive into the quote that we posted. So, we kind of slowed our roll a little bit on posting quotes lately, but... We have no shortage of them, and we want to actually talk about them more. So today's quote and conversation is a quote from Rumi, and the quote is, Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. Mm -hmm. And Rumi is one of our favorite poets. Um, I probably get more good quotes from him than anywhere. Ed! What's up, dude? Hey, Ed. Good to see you. Buddy. Ed, where are you turning in from? We would love to know. And does this quote mean anything to you? I'm going to go here. All right. So, know. again, the quote is, yesterday I was clever, so I wanted oh, to change the world. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Eric. Um, and today I went wise, so I'm changing myself. So we'd just like to start off with the conversation about that quote saying to Ed and Eric, saying that um, as you see, the world is a little crazy right now, a little bit, just a little bit crazy. And trying to change the world right now makes you feel powerless because there's a lot going on and Congress isn't doing anything. I didn't say that out loud. Um, so <laughs> everybody expects or everybody, oh, I'm leaning on the table. Everybody wants to change the world, but um, that seems really frustrating and it's hard to do. Why am I seeing this bullshit? Who <laughs> nice. is James? I don't know. <laughs> you can turn it off, James. He's out. Um, so yeah, that is basically not changing the world. So how, how do you feel some peace and ease in your life if you can't change the world? And it's got to start with you. Um, I mean, the, the, like Susan just said, I mean, Right, we, we feel so powerless. Um, and I'm just repeating exactly what you just said. <laughs> um, hey, Dad in Hollywood. Um, Dana. Alisa. Dana's my friend from Alaska. Nice. She's the one that lives at home. I live at home. Oh, yes, of course. Hey, Dana. Hi, Dana. There's Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Anyway. But yeah, the, the only thing we can actually have power over doing is making changes in our own life. And through doing that, then we start to make a difference in the people around us and then out and about. We can change that. the world. We can change the world. I always tell people, if you want to help the world, like I do go to marches and I do all that stuff. And, um, you know, I believe in that, but I, I think that the, the most, the thing that I can do most that can help the world is to actually sit down and meditate. How that helps the world is that I'm then a more calm, stable person. And when I go out into the world, I'm not being a dickhead all the time. I'm actually, I can maintain and I can, I can see that the people are struggling. I can see when people need help. I can, I have more compassion, uh, more gratitude in the world. So it changes the way that I interact in the day. I always say, if you're going to go out, if you believe everyone's an asshole, where's that guy that said this shit was stupid? James. Is, James is for you. If you believe everyone's an asshole in the world and you just go out and just think everyone's an asshole, then you really are just going to see assholes all day long. You go to the grocery store, the guy's going to be an asshole. You go to the gas station, that lady's going to be an asshole. Everyone will be an asshole if you're looking for them. So if you can manage your own shit, then when you go out into the world, it's a smoother ride for everyone. Ding. Which is what Ed Broberg is saying. Change your vibration. Change your vibration, Ed. Exactly. That's Maybe. what we're talking about. That is what we're talking about. That... What you put out is what comes back to you. And um, again, I feel like I'm just repeating what you're saying, but no. my head is nodding. Like, and it, what's interesting is the first time that you, I remember 
you saying something about um, in order to change the world, I need to meditate. And at first I thought that was like, huh? Yeah. I mean, because, that's people's reaction to right, that statement. Because you think, how does that help? How does that help anybody else? And even yeah. in some of our early meditation classes, they talked about that. But I didn't quite, it didn't quite sink in. Well, I got that. There's a country in Africa, and I can't remember what country it is right now. Sorry, country in Africa. But the mil the leader, the president, decided that meditation needed to be incorporated into their government. So he made every military personnel and police officer in the country meditate every day. And it completely changed um, wow. the face of their entire country. If anybody knows what country that is, please tell us in we, the comments. We can Google it. They had like the lowest or the highest literacy rate, rate, like the highest poverty levels. They had like all of their things in their society had been completely broken down. And when he instituted this kind of meditation into from the top down, mm. um, it changed every all of those things. Their literacy rate, their... Um, levels of poverty, all of those things, you know, they rose out of the predicament they were in when the people started meditating. So just as a point, it'll change the energy. Craig, Craig oh my God. <laughs> Craig, I want to give you a hug. Hi, Craig, sir. Craig. We Thanks for tuning in, Craig. We love you, Craig. Awesome. Awesome. I did want to read, thank you, Ed, for your comment. Today is Transformative Tuesday. Uh, today is a great day to make space. Take a look at your life and see what no longer fits. Could be clothes. I've got some of those clothes that no longer fit. It, uh, it could be words. It could be apps. As we make space with the old, we create room for the new. Nice, Ed. Ed, you're just... Tell it how it yeah, is. Yeah, energy influences matter. We agree. Yeah. 100%. So it's... Again, thank you, Rumi, for the quote, and uh, this is Quotes and Conversations. We're going to be taking a quote every week and having a conversation about it, and this was our first. I think Rumi's a good place to start. Rumi's always a good place to start. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my dad, who Hi, he was Eric, also Austin. quoting, my dad always has something to quote, go placidly amongst the noise, I think nice. that's what he said. I like it. Go placidly amidst the noise. Who said that, dad? Oh, that's um, nice. I like it. Oh, my. Ed saying hi to Craig. We got a party. We, did. we got Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, what's up, girl? Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> We're just talking about an uh, inspirational quote from Rumi, having a conversation about it. So we'll be doing this every week. And uh, I've got one for you people out there. Um, hey, Katie. It's to give us a quote that you want us to talk about. So you can leave that in the messages because what happens with the Facebook Lives is that people aren't just seeing it right now when we're live. But some people will show up in their feed and they'll see it later. So we highly encourage you to, even if you're not watching this live. I love it when you explain something new to me. I know, that's why I'm, I'm explaining this to, to yeah, see, you see how she turned in, in real time. time. <laughs> yeah. And um, I will also, oh. No, I was just going to say, so, so give us a quote that you want us to talk about in the comments below. Thank yeah. you. Tamala says this is a great idea. And if you have your own quotes that come out of your own. Wendell's. Wendy! Hi, Wendell's. So I will say that my friend Mark Wallace, um, I posted other people's quotes on my Facebook page <laughs> literally for about five years straight every day. And Mark Wallace was like, I'm so sick of seeing you post other people's quotes. Can you please just say something like from your own truth? So I started to do that as well. Mm -hmm. So we're more than happy to take any personal quotes directly True. from your heart. That would be awesome True. as well. And you'll get some of ours. Right. We have, in fact, a review. We have a list. <laughs> we have a list of quotes that we made um, that will come in days and weeks to come. But I want to I want to hear from you guys. What else? Um, in addition to Ed, like what else? Yesterday I was clever, so I want to change the world. Today I'm wise, so I'm changing yourself, myself. What else resonates with you about that? Do you feel like you gotta change the world? Or do you really feel like if you change yourself that that's enough? Well, I like that, that how they were talking about perception is everything. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, perception is everything, kind of. Mm -hmm. I'm perceiving myself right now. Yeah. As I look at two versions of myself right now. <laughs> but wise words from the old roomie. Um, David says, you were born an original, don't die a copy. Nice. I like it. That is a good one. 
It was a good one. All right, well, I think we should wrap this up. Let's do it. It was a really good introduction to our new series, Quotes and Conversations. Um, we're going to be putting out a couple of uh, videos a week, so it won't all be Quotes and Conversations. But right, and we'll it won't all be live. Yeah, we'll see how we'll this rolls out. We're digging it. Have a variety of places. So connect with us. And thanks for joining our Facebook Live. All right, Quotes and Conversations. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. All right, now you have to hit stop. Oh, shit. Yes. Beep.